You want to learn how to play Hammer, probably one of the hardest weapons in all of Dauntless to master. In this video, we're going to be covering a bunch of tips and tricks and the basics of Hammer to hopefully help you take your Hammer game to the next level. For you veteran Hammer players out there, I'm probably going to miss a couple tricks here and there. If you guys can post those in the comment section down below to help the new Hammer players out, that would be awesome. I've been on about a month, month and a half journey now to take my Hammer game to the next level, getting advice from some of the best Hammer players in Dauntless. And this is going to be my best attempt to relay all that information that they've been giving me to help me improve my hammer game and give it to you guys. So hopefully you guys can actually enjoy playing hammer. So let's head over to the training grounds and get started. Hammer, unlike most of the weapons in Dauntless, does not have a standard light attack and heavy attack. It does have the normal light attack functionality, but for the heavy attack, you're either going to have the Salvo or the Mighty Landbreaker. In this video, we're going to be talking mostly about the functionality of Mighty Landbreaker because Mighty Landbreaker is the one you're going to be using in most of your builds for Hammer. So for the heavy attack functionality of Hammer with Mighty Landbreaker, a simple click is going to apply the Mighty Landbreaker buff to just yourself. If you hold it down, it's going to charge it up. This is going to take a while, but then it's going to apply a party-wide buff for Mighty Landbreaker. Your special key is going to work as a reload functionality. This is a timed exercise. So after you hit your special button, you're going to need to hit again right in the middle to actually reload. If you fail to time it perfectly in the middle and you get it somewhere else, it's going to cause your character to basically be stunned or occupied temporarily. And if you let it go all the way to the end, it's going to function as a standard normal reload without causing you any penalties for getting stopped in place while you unjam your hammer. For your standard combos, this is going to be affected by how you're moving your joystick or your WASD keys while you're playing. So the basic combo if you're standing in place is going to be three light attacks followed by a heavy attack. The heavy attack is going to activate your aerial slam. So we got light, 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 and then heavy. Most of your damage is coming from the end of this combo. That's something to keep in mind. With hammer, your combos are a little slow, but you want to get that last hit in for the aerial slam. That's going to be most of your damage. Another combo we have is going to be pushing forward and doing the light attacks, followed by your aerial slam. This is one of your slower combos, but it's the one most people are going to end up using by default because it's the easiest one to use. Now, when the behemoth is on the ground, stand in place and using the normal combo for standing in place is going to get you a lot of damage in because of the multi-part hits. If you're doing head focus damage, the pushing forward combo is going to be very useful for getting big head hits in. But the main combo you want to do, and this is going to be the harder combo to do, is you're going to start off with the swing and then push forward. This is the uppercut combo, and it has the shortest execution time of all the hammer combos, and that's going to be your most effective damage for while the behemoth is up and moving around. And so your two main combos are going to be stand still, and then start moving forward for the uppercut combo while the behemoth is moving around. Once you have the behemoth staggered, you will, will want to stand in place and do the spinning combo, followed by the aerial slam. Now, one thing you guys want to keep in mind when you're doing the aerial slams is that you do not want to have your aerial slam go like this across the behemoth. You'll see a lot of those shots were coming out over here. You want to try to target all of these slams from head to tail. So we got from head to tail is going to optimize the damage or from tail to head. But as hammer is a stagger damage weapon, you want to focus most of your efforts on the head of the behemoth. Now you're probably thinking, well, hammer sounds pretty easy, but we really haven't gone over what the ammo does. But for the advanced hammer combos, you're going to want to do light heavy on every swing. So every swing, you're going to prime the shot to prime the shot. You want to do light heavy on every swing. So your combos go from being light, 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 heavy for the aerial slam to light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, and then heavy for the aerial slam. Now, most people will not want to prime all three of your shots on the hammer. You're going to want to prime shots two and three. So your combos go from being light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, then heavy for the aerial slam to light, light, heavy, light, heavy, and then heavy for the aerial slam. This is where hammer gets very complicated and it's hard to keep your pacing with the primes during active combat. So I'm going to show you the uppercut combo really quick. Now remember this one, we're going to be standing still to start the light attack. And then we're going to be pushing forward and doing the light heavy combo for each swing.
and that will pretty much optimize your damage for trying to get the behemoth staggered. So on each of those uppercuts, I'm hitting the light attack and then heavy attack in rapid succession. Now, if you're playing with Mighty Landbreaker, you just heavy click to put down the buff, but that takes a little while. So there's a trick to getting around how long it takes to activate Mighty Landbreaker. We're going to jump in the air and heavy attack, and that's going to just rapidly put down our Mighty Landbreaker buff. This is really good in trials. You can activate this on the vent as long as you had your weapon drawn in advance of hitting the vent to go into the trials fight. Now, pretty much all of your attacks on hammer are going to interrupt, but some of the really good interrupting techniques for hammer or easier ones for newer players, I should say, is going to be standing still and doing these swinging combos. These swinging combos are really good for interrupting. They have a wide arc. And the weapon's actual hitbox is relatively far away because you're grabbing the end of the hilt. And this is going to give you a little bit easier time interrupting, especially on that last hit of the spinning combo. Now, when the behemoth is on the ground, we went over the fact you want to be doing the spinning combo for on the ground. One thing we didn't cover about the spinning combo is, though, when the behemoth is on the ground, you do not want to be priming your shots because ideally this is going to be a perfect situation when the behemoth is on the ground that you can get a perfect head to tell with your aerial slam. So there's no reason to prime the shots because you want to optimize how many of those rounds you're going to have available for the aerial slam when the behemoth is grounded or staggered. But if the behemoth is standing up, you want to focus your efforts on getting that first swing in and then getting a two primed attack before the aerial slam to optimize both your damage and to optimize how much stagger damage you're putting into the behemoth's head. Hammer is very dependent on staggering the behemoth. The other thing to keep in mind about priming your shots is hammer doesn't necessarily use stamina to attack. As you can see with this combo right here, there's no depletion of my stamina. But now if I do that same combo with priming the shots, you're going to notice my stamina starts to deplete. So if you want to run Adrenaline on Hammer, you're going to have to get good at priming your rounds. So for somebody playing Adrenaline with Hammer, you're going to want to be actively dodging a lot, which is going to be a relatively common practice with Hammer because of your longer combos. But not only dodging, sprinting with your weapon out, and then priming as many of your attacks as you can to deplete your stamina to get those bigger hits from the Adrenaline buff. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is you need stamina to prime your rounds. So if your stamina is too depleted, you won't be able to prime your shots. You must also have ammo active to prime your shots. A thing you want to keep in mind too with hammer while you're doing your combos, you're going to be reloading your ammo pretty consistently as long as you land that first hit of the aerial strike. If you're over here and you miss the behemoth because the stupid behemoth moved, you might have hit it with the aerial slam, but because that first attack did not make contact with the behemoth, now you're out of ammo. And the only way to get that ammo back is to either combo into aerial slam on the behemoth or activating your special and reloading. The thing with this, though, is that if you actively reload your weapon, those are going to be weak rounds of ammo. And these only have, I believe, a 100% damage multiplier instead of the 175% damage multiplier of the ether charged ammo. Another good hammer interrupting technique is going to be rolling into a light attack. This is going to cause a lunging swing and start your combo, but this is also going to be able to interrupt the behemoth. So you just roll into your light attack and that can actually start your combo really quickly there and get you started right into the fight. Now, you might not want to lead into the combo if you're using this for an interrupt because of the way the behemoth staggers. So keep in mind with the fight how the behemoth is going to stagger after you get that interrupt, whether or not you want to lead into the combo. There's probably some hammer techniques that you guys know that I did not cover in this video. I tried not to make this video too overwhelming with all the tips and tricks for hammer because there really is a lot of them. Put those in the comment section down below so people can read and learn some more combo techniques. I would really appreciate that, guys. I should have a hammer build guide video coming up soon. When I do, I will leave a link for it right here. Until then, I'm going to have a pre-escalation build guide video, which should be pretty good for your newer hammer players or people just getting into Dauntless that are looking to build up a hammer set to go into escalations. And if you guys found this video useful, please leave a like. It really helps push this video out to more people. And don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for more Dauntless content or Wayfinder content in the near future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.